Have you heard of the semi-precious gemstone howlite? The interesting thing about it is that it's more well known for what it isn't than what it is. Hi there, Sandy here. Welcome to another Friday Findings video at KeepsakeCrafts.net. Today I'm going to talk to you a bit about the mineral howlite. So what I have here in front of me are just a few examples of some howlite beads. I don't have a lot of it personally, but I have some four millimeter and six millimeter beads. And it is a gemstone that's actually found in places where borax has evaporated and leaves behind these white deposits with these black streaks. Now on the hardness scale that we hopefully all learned in school where one is chalk and the softest and diamond is 10 and the hardest, howlite is about a three and a half. And because it's so soft, it takes dyes very easily. And maybe you see where I'm going with this. Therefore, because of these lovely little black striations, which sort of look like turquoise, unfortunately, howlite is frequently dyed a greenish blue and sold as turquoise. One website that I came across claimed that as much as 90% of the turquoise that we buy is actually dyed howlite. That's kind of a depressing thought. To cheer you up, here's a screenshot of House of Gems website where they very honestly and straightforwardly state that some of their beads are dyed howlite. One way that you can tell the difference uh, between dyed howlite and it masquerading as other semi-precious gemstones is by the price. You can see from the screenshot that these are fairly inexpensive beads. And so if it seems too cheap to be true, it probably is. Did you know that howlite is actually named after uh, Henry Howe, a Canadian geologist from Nova Scotia? He named it some complicated calcium borosilicate silicate or something, and his friend said, nah, it's just howlite. If you do a web image search on howlite, you will find that in its natural state, before it's shaped into beads, it actually looks a lot like cauliflower. All of the best images that I could find were copyrighted, but you should do your own image search. It's rather fascinating to look at. Because it's so soft, it's very rarely faceted, but often polished into round shapes. Do keep in mind that um, dishonest sellers will also dye it a reddish coral or even try to make it look like lapis lazuli. But again, just look at the price. And, and if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Here's a great screenshot from Fire Mountain Gems showing some of their cabochons made of howlite. Again, it's fairly inexpensive, but a really pretty accent stone. It just has this soft white finish. It usually isn't a bright, shiny finish. Because of its softness, it doesn't polish up to that high shine that a harder mineral would, but it's got just a nice look of its own. So if you have some howlite jewelry, because it's so soft, it can be easily scratched, so you should be careful with it. Also, these stones will dissolve in hydrochloric acid. Not that many of us have that kicking around the house, but the moral of the story is avoid harsh chemical cleaners. Just wash it with some soapy water. Uh, even dusting these, so even like wiping them off with a cloth, dust can scratch them. So really the best way to wash them is just in some warm water and rinse off the soap well. And like any other precious gemstones, store them carefully, maybe wrap them to keep them separate from other gems that might scratch them. So with its white color and its kind of grayish spans and streaks, it really is a nice accent stone to add to your jewelry. I'm looking at these right now and thinking of several things I can do with my Howlite beads, which may be upcoming in a future jewelry tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this and that you've learned a little bit more about Howlite and also to be wary of unscrupulous traders, but those who clearly state that they have dyed howlite, you know that they're upright and honest sellers. So be sure to subscribe to my videos if you haven't already for two new video tutorials every week. Happy creating. Bye-bye.